Hi everyone, this is Ma from Sparkly Belly and welcome back to your Sparkly Wardrobe Project. Your Sparkly Wardrobe Project is a collaboration project I'm doing with Mahin, a lovely dancer, very experienced and very knowledgeable in belly dancing. We're taking turns each week to show you how to make the most out of your belly dance costume wardrobe and give you fresh costuming ideas. This series started last week with Mahin's awesome costume inventory technique and if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you, you check, check it out from here. If you're like me, when you inventory your costumes, you find some old costumes sitting in your closet, unworn for some time, and are not as exciting as they used to be. So this week, week two of your sparkly wardrobe project, I'll share with you three DIY ideas to spice up your old costumes. Let's get started. Idea number one, add curls to your circle skirt. An ordinary circle skirt can transform into a cute bouncy skirt with this curly lettuce hem technique. Addition of the curls makes your turn more dramatic and makes your skirt look more expensive. It's a pretty easy technique too, so even if you're a beginner sewist, with some practice, it's very doable. See my detailed tutorial here. Idea number two, create a ruffle fringe over skirt. Layering of costume pieces creates more depth and adds interesting features in your overall appearance. You can spice up simple dance pants with this super easy 10 minute overskirt. If you're not into sewing, this DIY is for you. You can whip up a couple of these overskirts in 10 to 15 minutes and layer them to create a more fun outfit. These are great as a practice outfit too. Find my step-by-step -step tutorial here. Idea number three, instead of adding, try subtracting. Costuming is like math. You can add things like curls and overskirts, and you can also subtract things. By subtracting, I mean making cutouts. If you have a simple, rather boring straight skirt or mermaid skirt, try adding a few cutouts on the side. They don't need to be large cutouts. Even a collection of small cutouts make a sophisticated finish. You can add mesh backing to add strength and you can decorate over the mesh or frame the cutouts. See my step-by-step -step tutorial here. Hope these ideas help you bring life to your old costume pieces. If you try these, be sure to take the before and after pictures and share them on Sparkly Belly's Facebook group. Next week, Mahin is going to show you a technique to mix and match costume pieces that you already have so you can take a few pieces you own and multiply your costuming options. So sign up for her newsletter from here to get that episode of your sparkly wardrobe project. And also sign up for my newsletter from here to get my episodes of your sparkly wardrobe project. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!